today I'm reviewing the Hero Cosmetics Clarifying Prebiotic Moisturizer. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out NoBSB.com, check out my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so this is a new goodie that came out. It actually came out with, uh, I think, three different products. I think the toner, this, and then a cleanser in the same line. Um, so, okay. Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective Clarifying Prebiotic Moisturizer is a hydrating nutrient-packed formula that reduces the appearance of blemishes thanks to one ingredient, prebiotic sugar complex, backed by poor purifying sage extractor, keep you feeling clear, balanced, and totally in control. And it's interesting that they call this kind of geared towards acne-prone skin when um, I kind of think this is best for anything but. But, uh... I'll get to that in a second so okay in terms of packaging no issues with the packaging fun I like the squeeze tube it's easy for travel yeah so no issues with that in terms of denatured drying types the Velcol does not contain any of those however it does contain witch hazel which is most of the time denatured with alcohol I didn't knock them a point for it but it is something to be aware of because some people uh, are sensitive to witch hazel in terms of the fragrance, this is another one. I didn't knock them for it, but uh, it has no real scent. But it does contain sage leaf extract, which has skin benefits. It also can be sensitizing for some sensitive skin. It also contains yuzu citrus oil, uh, which, or actually it's yuzu citrus extract, which the oil version can be fragrant. The extract is not a, not so much. So keep that in mind. It's not, it has no real scent, but it does have a few ingredients, which for some people can be a little iffy uh the manufacturing location for this one is south korea i for some reason i guess i forgot that this was a south korean brand or uh anyway i just you know what i i guess if it's not sold on like yes style or joel c or style of korean i don't necessarily think of it as a k beauty brand but anyway okay so ease of use so they recommend using this moisturizer whoa took a big lump of it uh morning and evening I guess I'm just going to go all the way up my arm, which is kind of pink anyway from the sun. Uh, so after cleansing and toning for visibly clear, balanced skin, smooths over skin nicely, absorbs pretty quickly, sets to a natural finish that is non-sticky, tends to play well with other products. Um, typically, I prefer using this one in my morning routine because it isn't quite enough hydrating for my evening routine. And it also plays pretty nicely under sunscreens and things like that uh, for the most part. So really easy to use uh, in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients so i've got squalane skin identical ingredient to antioxidant we've got urethritol which is a humectant sorbitol it's another sugar humectant we've got ceramide np which is a skin identical ingredient we've got trellos which is another humectant uh, white willow bark uh, which is a good skin soothing ingredient we've got that citrus yuzu fruit extract which um the oil version of it is typically a fragrant version. The extract uh, contains a good amount of vitamin C for your skin, so it typically is a beneficial ingredient. We've got pineapple fruit extract, which actually has exfoliant properties. Also, uh, fruit sugars and amino acids give the pineapple fruit nice moisturizing as well as soothing properties. We've got zinc PCA, anti-acne ingredient, natural moisturizing factor. Then we've got sodium hyaluronate, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronic cross polymer, and sodium acetylated hydro hyaluronate, which are all humectants. They're not the most exciting ingredient, but uh, we've got mandelaic acid as well as glycolic acid, which are antimicrobial as well as exfoliating, but the pH of this one's not going to make it very exfoliating. Uh, we've got hydrogenated lecithin, which is an emollient, and then finally betaine, which is a good hydrating ingredient. So, uh, and so basically, this is really a hyaluronic acid and sugar humectant product, really, which will work well for some people. It depends on the environment you live in, if it's very humid, if it's dry, if it's going to be very dry. This might not be enough or you might want to use it differently so keep that in mind um in terms of animal testing it's cruelty free as well as vegan 
So for performance, uh, it's nicely hydrating enough for my dry skin in my evening routine. Uh, not quite hydrating enough on its own in my evening routine. I really like the light finish of this for summer because it's not terribly uh, overly hydrating or oily feeling and it doesn't have a shiny finish. So it's a good summer moisturizer, especially with all the good humectants in it. Um, so even though they advertise this as a good one for acne prone skin, it does contain several, several acne jack ingredients. So if you're very acne prone, I just wouldn't even touch the bottle of this. Uh, okay, so we've got ethyl hexyl palmitate, we've got cetyl alcohol, we've got hydrogenated vegetable oil, we've got glycerol stearate, we've got squalane, we've got sterile alcohol, and then carbamaricurol, uh, can be acneogenic ingredients. So if you're very acne prone, this probably, despite the fact that they market it towards that demographic, it's really not made for that demographic, if it makes sense. Um... In terms of the price, so this is 2.3 ounces, retails for 70, uh, no, 2.3 ounces, 70 milliliters, and it retails for $12.99. So it's a bargain. It's a really good, affordable product. Um, so if price is a huge issue. This one's really nicely priced. Uh, in terms of the it factor, I like it. My biggest issue is how they market it towards acne prone skin, yet secretly throw in X, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven acneogenic ingredients in it. I mean, that's a little... I, I just don't like that. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I would never recommend it to anyone with breakout-prone skin. Uh, otherwise, it's a it's a decent product. Um, so, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 9. As long as you don't have acne-prone skin, you're good. If you do, don't try it. I wouldn't even recommend it because it's just... There's just so many iffy ingredients in here, so... Anyway, interested hearing from you guys if you had a chance to try this yet and what your thoughts were. So leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.